Hello, hello everybody and welcome to episode recording doodle drawing party awesome time episode four of Pokemon Project. Pokemon Project is just a little project that I personally am doing. Um, started off just as something to make somebody smile and it's gonna hopefully continue going. Uh, I've run out of Pokemon from the list of the person who started this and that's okay because we will we will add to that list later we'll do that next week so in the meantime I'm going to take a couple of the requests that I've gotten and one of the requests that I got was a um, oh, sorry I had the uh could stop it it's here it's there I'm leaving it in um <laughs> it's Cubone now I realized this as I was sitting down to do the recording I happened to look over at the encyclopedia and I realized that I forgot to color Cubone's belly. It's supposed to be a light tan or a light, like a light color. I'm a little annoyed at that, but that's okay because we're either going to fix it or we're not. Because remember last week's lesson or last time's lesson is, you know, sometimes we move forward, sometimes we move backwards. Sometimes we make mistakes, sometimes we don't make mistakes. It's just the way it kind of goes. We just process, learn and move forward. So. If I fix it, I will address it in the next video. And if I don't fix it, then we're just going to move on. And we're going to, you know, keep this in the back of our mind as a lesson, you know. Because what was happening was I was looking at, like, online references. And then I was also looking at the encyclopedia. But for the color, I was looking at the online reference. And the person who had done the artwork for that just used a solid tan color. There was no belly. And that's okay. Like I said, it works either way. Um, but yeah. So Cubone, the lonely Pokemon. Now here's something, and maybe someone can explain it to me down in the comments. Why is it that Cubone wears the skull of its deceased mother, but all Cubones wear skulls? So does that mean that all Cubone's mothers die? Are all female Cubones destined for death? Like, maybe I should look up the actual backstory. Like, I, I read, I did an overview of the backstory. I never actually saw it, so... Um, maybe it's time to look that up and try to figure it out. He's what, fourth generation? Something like that? I'd have to look it up. Anyway, so just, I mean, that right there is like, A, it is really lonely, or really lonely and scary, and B, it's like, <laughs> it sucks to be a girl if that's the case, and uh, only if you have babies, though, I guess if you don't have babies, you're okay as a cute bone. I don't know, that was just, I was thinking about that, and it was kind of blowing my mind a little bit. Um, anyway, so, same process as always. <laughs> I know, it's, it, let's get to the art. Same process as always. I start off uh, with my mu mixed media, multimedia paper. And then I start sketching in a color, Prismacolor, color, color, erase, color pencil, because it's erasable. And um, I don't know, I just like working with it. Um, as close to the base color of the Pokemon as I could possibly get. After I have a good solid sketch in, then I go in and I start blocking in colors with alcohol marker. Now, the alcohol marker today was really, really hard to work with. Um, it's incredibly humid and it has been incredibly hot. It doesn't help that my computer's right there with my recording equipment and then, of course, my lights and everything. So, that was a pretty warm environment for everything today. Um, that also means that the paper's got a little moisture to it, etc., etc., etc. Alcohol and water do not play well together. And you combine all of that, and you can see how there might be a little bit of a struggle with laying down the color today. Um, it's okay because we just work with it. And again, this is a project for fun, so I'm not going to get too invested in like, oh, I had to make it absolutely perfect. That's just, nah. Nah, 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 nah. So you can see I have to layer and I have to keep moving. Um, there's like a lot of grip on the paper with the alcohol, the felt tip, like more so than normal. And again, I do blame that on, on the moisture in the air. Again, I can't even stress to you how humid it is. My hair is curling without me like curling it. It's that humid. And my hair typically does lay just flat and maybe a little wavy. Any hoozles. So I'm working at getting the alcohol marker as smooth as possible, as clean as possible. Um, one of the tips that I can offer you guys, and it's one that I got from Brianna Garcia like years and years and years and years ago, back when we both were on side seven and we're just kind of getting started. I finally worked up the courage to send her a uh, message through side seven. My dad like was there pushing me to do is like just to ask her because she had these wonderful like little Sailor Moon and Ronin Warrior doodles that she would add color to. And she would use, uh, at the time she was using Prismacolors, yeah, Prismacolor markers at the time. 
super expensive back then too like crazy expensive we're talking like like my first round through college sort of time of my life like actually before that I think I might have still been in high school anyway I digress um so I finally asked her and she gave me a couple tips and I found those tips to be very true um one you, you alcohol marker is the way to go because the way the alcohol interacts with the paper just it, you're able to get a smooth consistency and then two saturate your paper if it's an absorbent paper now there they have since come out with better papers for markers they specifically marker paper um however um there is a type of sketchbook i can't remember what it's called but it's got like the perfect paper in it if i think about it i'll uh go ahead and drop it in the description for the upload anyway um so that's basically what she advised me now at the time I was using Crayola markers you know I, I was a Crayola girl so of course it did not work out well with me because paper and water do not mix either um alcohol and paper the alcohol absorbs out it can still tear up the paper though and it usually does and it bleeds through like a you know what um either way so that's kind of what I'm trying to do by the layering is get it to evenly absorb. It just, it wasn't working and I realized what the struggle was and probably what the cause was between it being a very old alcohol marker and, you know, just the climate of me using it. So I figured we go ahead and just move on. Um, it's not the end all be all. And I started doing what I do best, finishing everything up, putting in the colors and everything. Now the skull I went a little bit more stylistic towards me for. Um, I don't see anything wrong with that. I, I'm trying to personalize some of this. And I like the idea of cracks in the skull, kind of making it like an actual scully skull, if that makes any sense. Because you know, you're, you're they, what, the Sagittarial divide or whatever it is called on your head and stuff like that. They're not actually straight. Um, they're kind of like jaggedy, you know, not like a tree, but kind of like a wavy line almost it's kind of cool uh skull anatomy is fun i don't draw enough skulls i probably should draw more but yeah um so going in with the liner just to add those fine little details outline things on the inside of the body in a thinner marker because i you know, i'm going to go around the outside with a nice thick marker afterwards just to make some contrast between that and the background um, I had to keep reminding myself of other things because again, I did make one mistake. I didn't realize it until afterwards though. <laughs> and then like it, I was so focused on getting the skull right, I think is what my main focus was at the time. And then I was really excited to pop on that nice thick outline because I just, I knew it was going to make everything come together once you could actually see this shape of the skull. So, yep. So Cubone, ground Pokemon. He is... Well, they just talk about basically him crying <laughs> about his mom and that he's all, you know, getting stronger, blah, 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 blah. Um, he's a fighter, but his type is only ground. Um, bloop, bloop, bloop. He has tail whip and thrash and double edge and all that good fun stuff. It's good, good, good stuff. So, yeah. Cubone, like, I, I don't know too much about him other than those little factoids that, like, they informed me of them when they requested this, like... This is why you should do Cubone. They came forth with a good argument. So I was like, oh, okay, fair enough. Yeah, okay, we can do that. And so we did. Now, um, I'm running out of things to say. So I'm going to just <laughs> go ahead and wrap this up. Uh, you will see that I ran out of room when I'm doing the name at the end. Now, I have a reason for that. I was I had the very bright light on it and from the angle I was at the paper and the the two papers were matching even though you could tell there's a tonal difference but I thought I had more room than I actually had that's it so I I crunched the name in at the end you could tell there's me down there so just yeah anyway if you like this go ahead and you know give a thumbs up drop a comment with your favorite Pokemon you know let, let's get let's keep it rolling let's keep it rolling all right, I'm going to go now that I have made a fool of myself. I've made many mistakes on this particular picture, but it's okay because we're, we're, we're still doing something. All right, I'm out. You guys have a wonderful day. Goodbye.